friends, I'm Akash, and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be learning about the greatest common factor, or GCF. The GCF, or greatest common factor, is the largest common factor of two or more numbers. But before we get into the GCF, I think we should first understand what a factor is and then what a common factor is. First, a factor is a number that evenly divides another number without producing a remainder. For example, 2 is a factor of 10 because 10 divided by 2 is 5. There's no decimals there, it's just the number 5 like you can count it on your fingers. However, three is not a factor of 10 because 10 divided by three is 3.3333333333 and so on, an endless string of threes. And if the quotient of this division has a decimal part, then it is not a factor. So three is not a factor of 10 because it has a decimal part, there's a remainder. Next, one is actually a factor of every number since one times any number is just that number. Also, every number also has itself as a factor as well because itself times one is, well, itself. Next, a common factor is a factor that is shared between two or more numbers. For example, two is a common factor of both six and 10, because when you divide six and 10 by two, the result has no remainder. But three is not a common factor of six and 10, because although it divides six evenly without a remainder, it doesn't divide 10 evenly. So three is not a common factor of six and 10. Now, most numbers have more than one common factor. So the greatest common factor or GCF is the largest common factor of two or more numbers. Now, let's begin with an example. Let's say that we want to find the GCF of five and 15. First, we find all the factors of five and 15. An easy way to find factors is to just check what pairs of numbers multiply to become the number five. For five, there's only one pair of numbers which multiply to become five and that is, well, one times five, which is very obvious. So the factors are five are one and five. For 15, there are two pairs. First, one times 15, and second, three times five. So the factors of 15 are just one, three, five, and 15. Next, let's find the common factors of five and 15. As you can see here, the common factors of these two numbers are just one and five. Now, to find the GCF, we need to find the greatest common factor, and the greatest one is five. So, the GCF, greatest common factor, of five and 15 is five. Now, let's take another example, like nine and 24. First, let's find the factors of nine. Obviously, there's one times nine, and then there's three times three. So, the factors of nine are one, three, and nine. Now, for 24, there is, well, one times 24, quite obviously. But there's also 
two times 12, and then three times eight, and also four times six. All of these are also 24. So the factors of 24 are one, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, and 24. Now, we need to find the common factors of nine and 24 which are one and three. Now, in order to find the GCF, we need to find the greatest of these two numbers, which is three. So, the GCF of nine and 24 is just three. Now, let's take one last example, like 12, 28, and 40. We're going to work with three different numbers for this GCF now. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And the factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, and 28. And then the factors of 40 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. Now, there are a lot of factors for these, so we need to narrow this down to our common factors, and they are one, two, and four. So the greatest common factor, the largest of one, two, and four, is four. So the GCF of 12, 28, and 40 is four. Now, you know how to find the GCF of any two or more numbers. Now, it's homework time. Try finding the GCF of eight and 12, of 24 and 36, and of 18, 30, and 42. Make sure to put your answers down in the comment section below. I'm sure you'll get them all right. And for convenience, if you want to check if you're right, then the answers are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this math video. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.